Well, I think one of the things that Europe can learn from the world is about the many different ways of managing uh, ethnic and cultural and linguistic diversity. I think, in the, in, at least in the recent Western history, we've been obsessed with the idea of how to uh, incorporate people into a, a particular kind of national political community as if that was the only way of coexisting. Um, but I think the, um, there are many other models and uh, from which we can learn. So countries like India are obviously um, uh, kind of uh, laboratories of learning about uh, different ways of coexisting uh, uh, with scales of diversity far beyond what we find in, in most of our own societies. But also, for example, Latin America, I'm extremely impressed with the, with the way in which the rise of indigenous rights in Latin America has helped contribute to their democratization process that the way that, that indeed recognizing diversity has been uh, kind of seen as one of the central symbols of democratization and the transition from military dictatorship uh, in Latin America, uh, or, or countries like Indonesia, which again, just hundreds of, of ethnic groups and languages and, and religions. Uh, I, I, I think these are all, all examples of uh, the ability to live together and to find a basis for coexistence and for civility um, that, that are really quite, quite impressive um, and from which we have a lot to learn.